let's say that like me, you really are like, mm, a Cape Parrot, yeah, that's for me. And you're like, hmm, how can I, when I bring my Cape Parrot home, make them feel at home? How do I help them adjust? Because clearly you're already aware and truly any parrot, not just a Cape, you're already aware that it's a big change for them. They're born into a clutch. That's the name of their siblings, right? They're born in the nest, in the egg, with other eggs. They all hatch, they're there with their parents. Their parents might come and go and feed them, but they live um, at first with their family and then they grow up and they follow. I mean, sometimes they stay, depending on the species of parrot, they stay with their families for like a year and maybe even help raise the next generation, like next year's babies. So depending on like, for example, green cheek conyers, depending on the species. But my point is they therefore are born into a family and they see them like for a long time. But now all of a sudden something's different. Everything's changed, their environment's changed and they're coming home with you. So you recognize what a huge change it is and you wanna make it easy on them. How, what are a couple of ways that you can do that? Hey guys, I'm Kaylin, the author of The Parrotless Bond. If you watch my videos, you know I am crazy about parrots. Parrots are my bliss. If you're watching, hopefully you're here to get inspired, get some ideas on easing the transition for your new parrot into your home. My mission is to help increase your bond with your parrot, decreasing the need for rescues, increasing your happiness and your parrots. If you're used to hanging out and you've already met Quantum, my male, and Macy, my female Cape, then thank you so much for being here. I love my YouTube members and my fans almost as much as I love my parrots. When it comes to bringing a new parrot home, you can't talk about how to ease them just straight up because it depends on the parrot. For example, when Quantum came home, he had been in a pet store and he had been there for um, 12, 10 months. That's a long time. And so he, he had been weaned there and then he was in a cage by himself. And sometimes he would be put out on the floor, like on a perch to play and try to be friendly with people. But he saw people come and go. And the natural thing is to have his flock, have his family, have a bond. And instead he didn't have that. I really felt like he was therefore more distant. And so a part of getting him into my family, into my home, into my flock, had a lot to do with just being slow and patient. Did you see what I did? I slowly brought my hand to him. I do bring it to the beak. A lot of other people will tell you that you'll get bitten. <laughs> um, I'm okay with that. I feel like it's their prerogative. They get to see my hand and tell me that they want a pet or they'll often nibble and say, I don't want a pet. They'll look the other way. My point is, I make them comfortable by giving them their space. You could see I'm not forcing he or Macy to do anything and letting them come around. Now I'm pretty, uh, pretty much a nature girl in the sense that I really like for my parrots to uh, have as much of a flock life, as much of a natural life as I can provide in my home. Clearly I have some limitations, but as much as I can within that, uh, I, I'm not huge into training. I think training has some good time and space for some parrots. Some parrots, it's really significant. It can be a real common language to help you bond with your parrot, to help your parrot know the routine. And so if you bring a new parrot in to your home and you can start to train them, that might be great. When I brought Macy home, she was a rescue. She was a year old and I had told her when I got her that I was gonna take care of her and she took right to me. So Macy was always easy. It was like she understood and I think she chose me as much as I chose her. So having her 
relax into my home and relax into life with me, not so hard. Some parrots, when they're babies, they're super easy. Uh, they just, including capes, they just come in and kind of look around, find their place. African parrots or tropical parrots like African greys, Senegals, Cape parrots, they're kind of chill birds and that makes it sort of easy. You give them their cage, you give them lots of food. The first couple of days, I would kind of not worry too much about diet. I do like to get my parrots on a good diet as quickly as possible, but I would quickly give my new parrot some millet, some sort of treat. Uh, if I was bringing a Cape parrot home, I test to see if they're used to nuts and I start to give them nuts, not only as a treat, but it's also a part of their diet because they need that nut fat. And so I let them ease in that way by trying to give them positive associations with me, positive experiences. You can do things like open their cage door, let them come in or out at their leisure, do things like offer them some toys. If your parrot is friendly, sometimes babies come home and they're almost already bonded to you. Um, but whether they are or not, you can put seeds or treats in your hand and start to offer it to them. Of course, I don't have any to give them right now. There you go. And uh, talk to them. One of my strongest techniques is to be calm, be mellow, move my hands slowly with my new bird and talk to them. I think that they may or may not understand your words, but they understand a lot of the sentiment. They understand a lot of the effort. You can't decide whether you want pets or not, can you? They understand um, your intentions. And it sort of only makes sense when you meet someone, you kind of get a sense right away about what they're like, what their intentions are with you. So I try to be really obvious. I try to tell them and I try to really spell it out so that they're really relaxed. I have brought parrots home that were more nervous rescues that weren't tame. I put them in their cage and I let them come out or not. One of the things that happens is in my home, they see the other birds and they see that everything's fine. It helps them relax. I think they talk to each other and the other birds, they kind of go, oh, okay. The new bird goes, it's not so bad here. Okay, I see the other birds, they're fine. Maybe I'll be fine too. So I would say, you know, it's so hard when you have a new bird, in some ways you just wanna cuddle and love on it, but be slow in your movements. Hey, sweetie, you want some more pets? There you go. Be gentle, uh, be really, Spacious. In other words, you give them their space. Notice how I don't crowd their space. I don't encroach upon them. I, I give them plenty of space. And of course, my birds are used to me, so it's not that significant. But when you do that, then your parrot can have some time to adjust to their new home. And what you really want is you want them to recognize that this is a safe space, that no one's gonna force them to do anything here, that they're gonna be well taken care of, they're provided with their own space, their cage. They're provided with fresh food, fresh water, and a lot of love and compassion. You like that look? She's looking up at the sky. And sure enough, like, oh, no, I don't see anything up there. What do you see up there, Macy? Let me tell you, they can see higher up than I can. I look up sometimes and it looks like a blue sky to me and they see something. I hope that helps give you some ideas. More than anything, it's gonna be the way you handle your bird you might then have the question, well, Kaylin, what if I do what you're saying? I open the cage and they come out and then I can't get them back in. There are different things you can do to get them back in. But if you need to, like if you feel like you won't be able to get your parrot back in their cage, start by letting them out of their cage in a small room, maybe a bathroom or a small den, um, some sort of space where you can get them back into a carrier easily. You can maybe use a towel and just hold the towel up. Like I could hold, have my hands at the top. If my arm was the end of the towel, I could hold my the towel on the two ends and then I could just move it along by their side. He grabbed the towel just now. So 
I hope that makes sense. So that, you know, the, it's almost like the towel's a wall and it moves into them. And that way you can try to get them back in their cage or you might be able to use a stick or something like that. Figure out what's gonna work and have your plan ahead of time so that you're not chasing them and you're not forcing them as much as possible. If you do have to sort of corral them a little bit, just be really intentful. Be, be, don't, don't be feeling like, oh, they're gonna hate me, I'm gonna have to put, be calm and just be like, okay, you know what? Um, I'm going to have to put the towel over you or whatever it is to get you back in your cage so you're nice and safe. And then you just do it and you're done. So that you can provide the smoothest transition, which is an important part of creating that blissful bond. Now, if you don't pull off the first day or two, the, way, the best way you want, it doesn't mean that bond is like broken, you're doomed, it's over, don't feel that way. Keep being persistent. Parrots really respond to constant and persistent, um, not only routines, but behaviors and moods. So I hope that really helps you start to have that blissful bond. And I will catch you in the next feathered video. If you want some awesome parrot merch, please merch, please be sure to visit shop.parrotbliss.com.